praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our Wednesday 15 minutes podcast. Remember, we started a series of teaching last week, Monday. And today is the second week, and today is Wednesday. Listen to this. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do right now. Press on the subscription button. Uh, the bell will come out. Press on the bell. Why do you need to press the bell? Because when the Jewish podcast is ready, YouTube will always send you a notification. Now, after your busy day schedule, then you can always follow us on this series of teaching. Please, if you have not watched, if you have not been following me from Monday last week, I beg you to go back to the series. Go back to the Monday so that you'll be able to follow with today's one. We have been talking about the series of teaching which are called Living the Gospel. And you know what? It changed my Christian life. It has changed the Christian life of others. This teaching put food on my table. It gave me a good character. No words because there were errors that kept me away from those things. And the error is this the error is that preachers led me to read in Joshua 5 10 to 20 when while I should be living in Amos 9 13. What is the difference? Because I do not know the difference between miracles and blessings. You know what? I gave a good example from Monday till today. So go and follow it so that you can give to it. Now, what that means is this miracles are God's will. Jesus said it in a, in a Matthew in Matthew 6, 10 to Matthew 6, 10 to 11. Hallelujah. Miracles. Miracle bread and God's will. That kingdom come, Matthew 6, 10, 11. That kingdom come, that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. So, our daily bread, which is miracle bread, which is miracle bread, which is called manna, is God's will. And Jesus said, it is still on. So, meaning that, according to Matthew 6, 10, it is God's will. It is God's will. So I'm not saying you cannot experience miracles again. I will tell you under the condition that you experience miracles. But do you know when we have moved out of that season, we're in a different season now. We're in the season of Amos 9 13, where workers are about to feel to, to sorry, workers are still in the field, are vested. And then it is another season to start plowing. And, and, and that Amos 9 13 in the ERV is the best version of it. In ERV says, it says, the Lord says, a time of great blessing is coming. It's coming. Workers will still be harvesting when it is time to plow the fields again. They will still be troubling the grapes when it is time for a new crop. Sweet wine will drip from the mountains and pour. That is a blessing. That is a blessing. So, 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 miracles are God's will, but miracles are not God's best. Okay. So many people want to stay with God's, what is God's will for their lives, and not what is God's best. Now, listen to me. God showed Israelites His will for forty years. His will is miracle bread. You go there to pick it in the morning. You go there to pick it in the evening. You go there to pick it in the morning, you go there to pick it in the evening. In fact, they don't need to buy new clothes. Their clothes was growing the way they were also growing. And their legs was not hard because their shoe also was growing as their legs were growing. Those were miracles. Those are not miracles. Those are not blessings. They are miracles. But do you know what God's best for you is His blessing? And what is His blessing? God stopped the miracle bread. And then God now told them and I said, you know what? He 
is a plow in the ground. The ground will bring make and honey. Then harvest the make and honey. So when God brought them to the land that flowed with make and honey, it is not a land where they go and fetch the make and honey on the ground. They dig it out from the ground. Okay. For to start with, man has ceased according to Joshua 5 10 to 12. So this is in contradicting to the covenant statement the harvest will not cease for as long as the heaven and the earth exist in Genesis 8.22. Did you see that? Miracle bread ceased. It means that the season for miracle bread passed. But God is saying, listen, the blessing does not have a timeline. The blessing will not cease for life. So, meaning that God was telling Israelites that the, the miracle bread was not designed for a lifetime. It was designed for a certain time. Even in your own life, God designed it for a certain time. God's plan for you is not to live on miracle bread for a lifetime. But God said when it comes to sowing and harvesting, He said it will never cease for as long as heaven and earth remains. But do you know what? He never said Miracle bread, which is manna, will never cease for as long as heaven and earth remain. So, Joshua 5 10 to 12, verse 12, and the manna ceased. Genesis 8 22, he said, While the earth remained, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Now that they have their own land to cultivate, now that Israelites have their own land to cultivate, it means that they are not limited according to the blessing in that Joshua 8 22. So Joshua 8, sorry, Genesis 8.22. Genesis 8.22 is the blessing. Is the blessing. Miracles can cease for a season. Miracle does not happen every second. I will show it to you. But do you know what? Blessing will be there for 24 hours. And I will show it to you. That's what I'm saying. Number one, in Genesis 2.22, 8.22, we have seen that while the earth remained, Seed time and harvest shall not cease. But in Joshua, Joshua 10, 5, 10 to 12, the manna ceased. The manna ceased. For example, for example, corn, for example of, of, of a what's it called? Of Amos 9, 13. Here. For an example, corn can be grown and harvested four times in a year according to its season spoken of by service now what the service say service says in, in psalm 1 1 to 3 he says blessed is the man blessed not miracle man blessed is the man that walk not in the castle of the own god view not standard in the way of sinners not seated in the seat of the scornful did you see that you've got to be watchful of your company that has kept some people hungry for life but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Oh, a tree planted by the rivers of water. What do you call that one? Irrigation. Irrigation. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. In his season. His season. Not in the season of the rain. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Prosperity. Prosperity through education. The season of a corn to produce fruit is three months. But the season of rain, once yearly. Unfortunately, man grow corn according to the season of rain and limited himself to once in a year to harvest corn. But if you practice irrigation, as we saw it in that Psalms 1, 1 to 3, you can farm corn four times in one year according to its season and not according to the season of rain. So the blessing is unlimited, unlike the miracle. Did you see the blessing? The blessing. Psalm is just explained to us. Say, blessed is the man who knows about irrigation, who knows about the season of the corn. A man would know about the season of a corn, know that the season of a corn is three months. Three months means when you shook in a corn into the ground, 
In three months, you are eating it. You are eating it. Do you know what? All you have is the size is 100 by 100 feet. And that 100 by 100 feet can probably produce 1,000 bars of corn. Meaning that if you flow with the season of corn, with the season of corn, you will have 4,000 bags of corn in one year. But if you flow with the season of rain, you only have corn, 1,000 bags in a year. But by the blessing, the blessing that says, blessed, uh, what, that says that, uh, what's it called? When you sow, you will reap. And sow and reap time will not cease. That is the blessing. But miracle time, man has ceased. But the blessed time does not have an end. Now, Sam is now said, if you understand the season of the crop, not the season of rain, and you can do irrigation to draw the water from the river, he said you'll be filled with blessing. You'll be filled with blessing. Meaning that you can experience what Amos 9, 13 said. Not as a miracle, but as a blessing. Did you catch that now? As a, as a blessing means you, you, you draw water from a river that is flowing throughout the year. You planted the corn in January, February, March. You harvested it. No rainy season, but you, you cause your own water to come to it. Did you see that's what Psalms 1, 1 to 3 say? You wet your field by uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. By April, April, you, you, you went back to shooking another seed. So you see, so 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 the the the, the harvester are still harvesting the corn, and then the workers are back to sow seed again. That is the second time in the year. Now, you do irrigation. Do you get what I'm talking about now? While you are waiting for the rainy season. So when the rainy season comes, you are going back to the field the third time in the year. Now, you have already got 2,000 bags of corn. The third time in the year, rain came. You have your workers, you have your harvesters. When rainy season stops, you have October, November, December. You, you go back to the field again in October. November, December, you have harvested another corn again. So, you are now having 4,000 bags of corn in one year. Instead of 1,000 bags of corn, according to the season of rain. But you do it according to the season of corn. Now, under what are you working? You are not working under miracles. You are working under the blessing. The blessing that says that as long as heaven and earth remains, seed and harvest shall not cease. Genesis 8.22 is a blessing. Genesis 8.22 is not a miracle. It's not a miracle. It's not a miracle. But you see, but today people go to a field and, and, and in one season, and then they wanted a miracle to make it off for the remaining season. No, God said you can, you can have the best under the blessing. Under the miracle you are limited. Under the blessing you are not limited. But do you know what? I just ran out of time right now. So on, on, on Friday, I will continue on this series of teaching on living in God's best. From here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord.